This is wow. incredible. Whoa, I was not expecting that. That's the most deadliest snake. Oh my God, are we standing around? <laughs> I didn't know. Another snake, Maro. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to another episode here from Glenn and Maru from Australia here from the Central Coast. So we want to head to the Body Coast of Org on this beautiful fine day. Oh, the sun is really shining. On the way we just wanted to show you this beautiful coastal along the water because it's so nice. And we stopped here at this little coffee shop called uh, Humble Table and it's really good. So We're just at the water here. So the water is right behind us. All the boats and all are stored here at the wharf, the marina. Just behind the houses here. But I'm gonna pick up a coffee for us. We stopped here before and it was so nice. Yeah, it was actually delicious. Just don't get knocked down by well, bikes. We're about 25 minutes to go away from the walk, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so we So I'm gonna show the road trip on the way as well. Humble table. Nice, nice. How are you, are you well? Oh yeah, beautiful presentation we have there. Banana bread, madam. Oh no, yeah, big demand. It must be good. I've got um, fruit salad <laughs> and yogurt down here. Yeah, see that, yeah. Um, and this is a watermelon strawberry. We tried a place before, they were amazing. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I know, beautiful. I guess not the last yeah, one. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, at least we got a taste yeah. last time, so. Yeah. Can I get a black coffee then? It's a long black. Take away. What are you getting, madam? And banana bread, the last piece? No. no, no they chop it in half. 1950. Very good. Yeah, we're gonna go to Woody, yeah. Woody? Uh, Tonga? Or Beatty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a great one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You love that, huh? Yeah. 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 Take the recommendations from the locals. <laughs> Thank you. What just happened? This that was pretty nice funny. Lady she was very nice, very sweet and she looked after us very well with nice coffee and Mado just decided to talk about working in coffee shops and she decided got, to offer I got myself a volunteer job for tomorrow I to work in a coffee free, shop but I want the experience so yeah yeah it's just so for nice. the you always wanted a, it was a dream of hers yeah. to actually work in a coffee so shop so she's gonna I mean you know if I do well maybe she's giving me a reference yeah just to top up your experience yeah. I suppose for the future she wants to work in a coffee shop maybe in Brisbane, in Brisbane. but yeah we're okay. gonna just enjoy this coffee yeah. go for a walk Hit, hit the road now, I suppose. Yep, let's go. Look at this cute black wall road. This is black wall road. Oval Avenue. I'm not sure why the why? name of the town now. Why, why, Glen? Sorry? Why, why? Public why? library of why, why? I think I'm sure the town. Why, why? What was in my life, though, isn't it? It's the police station. Run, quick. Look at this. Every little town is pretty nice here in Australia. I know, yeah, it's just because the sun is always shining, it just makes everything look beautiful. There's a vintage store. A vintage store indeed. Mm -hmm. so, 20 minutes left till, till the walk. Very steep, roundy, bendy road. I absolutely love the oh, yeah, this road, yeah. eucalyptus tree, but they're dangerous. Why are they dangerous? Yeah, with the heat. Oh, yeah, because it become very flammable, yeah, yeah, I understand, yeah. No, they're dangerous when there's a fire. Yeah. Because it's it's just, it just, it just spreads very fast, and, yeah. you know. But it's beautiful to look at. Right, you actually have to pay parking. That beauty, uh, the nature, do the nature walk, unfortunately. It's eight dollars, eight dollars just to park here. Support the park, I suppose. Eight dollar. Happy days. There you go. Payments done. Successful. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that now. And we're actually far away from the towns and cities, and we still have to pay the eight dollars, but. It is what it is. So welcome to Woody National Park, I think. And we just here arrived here at Putty Beach. Putty Beach, yep. I think you talked about the parking costs already. I have indeed. So what we want to do is like we want to walk to the Maitland Bay, just up to here. Maybe have a swim here and then head back because this is already a two hour. And what I've seen, it goes a lot of times up and down. Ah, beautiful. So, a lot of incline, a yeah. lot of calories burned. So I think this is what we're going to do. It's just half of it. And we're gonna skip this. So, part. would you think you'd have to be fit for this part, for this walk, or? We'll see, because it says a lot of you know. I have like the All Trails app, which is so amazing for all the hiking, and it says a lot of ups and downs. Oh, that looks very pleasant, <laughs> and everybody can comment on that as well. <laughs> so Just... let's see. So you definitely wanna make it here. So the, the walk walks over the sandy path. That's very nice. I'm not sure, Mado. 
I'd like to go walk on the beach though, to be honest. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's start the journey on the beach. The sea of water. That's the best part of it. So this is supposed to be the most beautiful walk in the area. Is that right? Yeah, very, very popular here in the central coast. Okay, okay. A lot of people have recommended it, yeah? My research has recommended it. <laughs> oh, look at the water. Oh, yeah. That's the best thing about living in Australia and exploring Australia. It's all these beautiful coastal beaches. Wow, wow, this is wow. incredible. Whoa, I was not expecting that. There's a few people actually camping on the beach. Oh, look at this is so cute. People have built like the TP tent. What do you call it? TP tent. Yeah, you can put material over it. Torn into a, a little chill chill area with the wood. You just drive half an hour and it's completely different. It's completely like you go into a like resort like Tropical, tropical resort, tropical island. That's exactly what it looks like. like but no, it's just Australia. It's always beautiful. Any beach you go to. Completely different country life. Ah, it's a different island world here. Island. It is a different world here. But I guess Australia is a big island. Whoa. Last time we were on a beach, I thought I'm going crazy. But like, honestly, the sand is squeaking. Look at this. Squeak. Sand. It actually is squeaking, yeah. This is so weird. That's so weird. It's so cute though. That's funny. So I've never experienced that in my life. Squeaky sand. So see new things always to discover here in Australia. Squeaky, squeaky footsteps. <laughs> Whoa, that's something else, isn't it? Everybody's in the water down here. Must be safe to jump in then. Such a nice design here. Look, look how big that uh, wooden tent is. Wooden design. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that's where you live. That's your house, yeah. Living the good life on the beach. <laughs> Living the good life on the beach. Imagine living here. Oof, I'm very jealous. Whoever lives in this area. We live in this area for a week. Ah, we live about 20 minutes, but I'm on about really on the. I'm talking about living on the beach though. All right, the walk begins. Time to step off this beautiful beach now. Unfortunately, onto the onto the walk. Right. Hopefully, we have a bit of shade anyway within the bushes, because the sun is pretty intense today. I have to say. But anyways, that's part of the Australian experience. 2.7, nah, not too Rain bad. Tree, suitable for most ages with fitness level. Ah, so it's not too bad then. Happy days. Look at the views of the water. Damn, that's beautiful. It's only beginning as well. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful walks in the area, they say. Let's see. Eddie Roy. I really want to know. Oh my god, this is really, really good. Are you liking it, Glenn? I'm actually liking it, yeah. Glenn usually doesn't like it. It's such a magical walks. place. Ah, yeah, but when the. When the walk is full of beautiful views, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's always gonna be good. Can't go wrong with that. Like, it's a good fishing spot over here. How are you, boss? There's a. Now I'm assuming that's all sandstone, guys, because that's very famous here in Australia, actually. The sandstone. Plenty of it here along the coast. Just find the rock and the formation of the rocks themselves look pretty cool. Never really seen anything like that actually in any other country. We just have a wooden platform here along the coast. And then you just get a lovely view of the sea while they're walking. It just creates peace. Honestly. Just put your mind, definitely put your mind at peace. Listening to the, the sea. Bashing off the rocks. Yeah, I'm starting to really notice all this sandstone and all these weird and awesome designs in the rocks. Honestly, I actually have never seen anything like this before in my life. And <laughs> Australia just keeps blowing my mind every time. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna keep discovering new things while we explore this beautiful country. So, so excited now, to be honest. To see it all. And the walks are only beginning as well. So we're gonna do many more walks as well over the upcoming uh, couple of months. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We have the Booty National Park Marine Extension. Looking over the horizon, over the sea. Damn, that is very special. There's a bit of a breeze, but it is quite refreshing on this beautiful hot day. Look at all the waves smashing off the rocks. And this is nothing for miles. There's lovely coastal lines along the way here. So, whoa, this is unreal. We're like, we're like kids on a Christmas morning. Enjoying this beauty of Australia. Isn't that right? Wow, wow, wow. Very windy, but it's amazing. Is that right? So I think this is the beach where you want to go. 
We're going to that beach now. Yeah. The one in the distance over there. Yeah, that's, I think, I'm pretty sure this is Maitland Beach. That's a lovely stretch of, uh, yeah. lovely stretch of sand. Yeah. Any whales? You could see whales and dolphins around here. I got fingers crossed, I've never yeah. seen one before. But I don't think we know what we have to look out for, that's a problem. No, no. Found <laughs> <Is that> a snake? <laughs> what? Oh my god! What is this? A snake? It's a snake! Oh my god! You stand on it? No! I literally never seen a snake ever, ever before! Damn! I've never seen a snake before either in the wild. Oh no, that's, I mean, it's a baby snake. What is he doing there? Oh shit, I've been scared as. You forgot what? I forgot for a moment during this training. Yeah, that's very true. You can ask these people, it's just poisonous. Never yeah, seen a snake before. It's a baby brown. Yeah. Where are baby baby? Baby. Oh yeah? Get away from it. Oh my god. It's the deadliest one in Australia. You're joking! Oh <laughs> god! For real. Okay, so Brahmas, I've just seen the deadliest snake ever. That is weird. That's the most deadliest snake. Oh my god, and we standing around. <laughs> I didn't know. We don't know. Real, I, I think like, I have to do a bit of research on Google. Like, I was like, it's a small snake, it's probably not dead. Oh <laughs> it doesn't matter what size it is, it's your matting. The I'm snakes still, grow. I'm literally just on a little bush wall. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you didn't move. Huh? It's weird the way you didn't move. What do you mean I didn't move? No, he didn't move. No. You need to stood on him. No, I, I just walked. What would it bite me if like... If I stood on them? I don't know. Not sure. Oh God, people, the brown please, snake. Please teach us a bit about snakes here. If you see this, comment I down think, below. I uh, think, no, as soon as we go home, we'll just do a bit of research on what the deadly snakes there is. On. Okay, but if you're seeing this, please comment down below and let us a bit know about snakes. We don't have a clue. That's the first we don't have a canoe. snake we've seen in So, Australia. we're from Europe. I'm from Germany and Ireland. We don't have any poisonous snakes there. So, please educate us on snakes and i'm like really scared because now we just went on this little like bush walk and literally the, i almost stepped on it yeah to give you a feeling for snakes for smato it's good great, ease yourself in with a baby great. snake i got a fright there like literally it's nice to ease yourself in with the baby snakes oh yeah with the baby Can snake you see the, big ones? The, the deadliest snake ever but this is actually true because I think, let me know if that's true, but the bigger ones, they're not as deadly as some of the small ones. Have you become a bit more relaxed now? No, I became cautious now. That's good, that's good. Cautious will make lots of noise when but you're walking. I can't relax on a walk. No, you can't, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately you have to really un expect the unexpected when you're walking in the bush here in Australia. What? Another snake, Meadow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Run past it. Yeah. Run past it. I'm making noise. There you go. Now, just bang the board and off he goes. Yeah, that's another baby snake. Uh, another brown. Not even I don't know, Mado. You have to do a bit of deep research. It's nice to know, actually. <laughs> look. You walked all there? Yeah. That was pretty fast. Yeah. Welcome to Derkin Jung Country. Ganyi! Never seen that animal in my life. Oh, there's the animal there. Yeah. Where? Eki... No, I'm saying the name. Oh, I thought you seen it in the wild. No, not yet. We're not that lucky. Okay. Uh, but the walk is so beautiful. There's nobody here. Nope. Special, special place. Almost there. You walk ahead. The meringue lookout. You can see whales. Now here waves. It's probably like a, a whirlpool in the water. I've seen the whale out there. See the, there's, there's a splash out there. Yeah, I think, think a, a I think that's a whale out there, Mado. It'd be pretty incredible if it was. I really want to see one, I know. See ya. This might be one. It is, it's blow holing. No fucking way. What are you coursing for? No way. Yeah, it's pretty far out. We found paradise. That beach is beautiful. What do you think of it? It's so beautiful. There's nobody here. It's just ourselves now. Damn. Oh my god. 
a very special place indeed. While we're here, we need to go for a quick dip and embrace this beauty we have right here on our doorstep. Oh yeah. Feels like I'm on a deserted island here. <laughs> it's crazy. Enjoy this lovely, beautiful moment. Maro, did you like that? Yeah. That was quite refreshing. Yes. Now it's time to just walk all the way back. That's such a hidden gem, this little beach. Honestly, yeah, it feels like a remote island. Feels like I'm lost on a tropical island in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly what it felt like there. That's, that's the type of vibes it was giving us. It's such a like, small escape, just an afternoon when really. you feel like... Yeah, miles away from reality. Reset your minds. I'm all feeling good now, relaxed, and I feel pretty good, pumped up. Oh, I needed that. I needed that little dip in the water. This is absolutely beautiful. Just exposed to nature, there's nobody else around. Oh, really needed it. Highly recommend coming on this little walk from Putty Beach to Maidland. I think it's called Maidland Bay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nice Nice so beautiful. Yeah, you like it, Glenn? I do indeed. I'm happy when Glenn is happy. Ew. <laughs> Ew. You can watch the sunset here. You actually can't no, sort. No, I don't think so because you have all the. Yeah, it goes behind the. Behind the, the coastal. Yeah. The coastal lines there, yeah. But it looks beautiful. It's be blocked. It's very bright at the moment. It's very bright. Yeah. And this just here on the central coast. I think one hour, one and a half outside of Sydney. Yep. So definitely even possible for a day trip if you're living in Sydney. Or if you just want a weekend trip. So cool. The cockatoo statue, yeah. That's pretty awesome. There he is, sitting on the bench. We made it back to we civilization. Made, we made it back. We're just back uh, where, the, where we started. At the beginning of the walk. Really this is definitely uh, a beautiful beach as well. So welcome back to Putty Beach. Another paradise here, so this is about a minute away from the car. So we just got back to the car park and we're making our way back home now. Yep. We really hope you enjoy Enjoyed this video. Episode. We can highly recommend coming out here to the central coast. There's so many beautiful things to do. It's very underrated in my opinion and we had a really good time. Hopefully we make it on a few more walks now over the next couple of months and broadcast it to you guys as well. So if you <laughs> If, if you're from Australia and um, we're gonna spend so much more time here in Australia if you're from Australia let us know if there's anything we should definitely see write it down in the comments below in coming months yeah yeah and we really hope you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe comment down below and we hope we catch you in the next adventure catch you later alligator